so many people suffer brain injuries. Do you have any point of view on the potential future of stem cell-like interventions for the purpose of uh, re regeneration, specifically in the CNS? Yeah, I mean, this is an area that I think got a lot of focus and attention maybe about 10 or 15 years ago. And I would say largely the results were pretty modest. It's coming back now because of a lot of cell-based therapies, organoids, building miniature models of brains um, on cell cultures, basically. So back to Parkinson's mm. disease, where you've got degeneration of dopaminergic neurons and the substantia nigra, the goal is can you replace and basically transplant some stem cells into that part of the brain? So there's a new generation of new therapies that uh, we're really interested in trialing at UCSF um, that are much better cell models, much better control of dopamine that's involved. Could you imagine engineering your way out of Parkinson's disease? We're working on it. What about synthetic cells where you completely get to control it, right? So again, you have the substrate problem, but if it's truly a synthetic cell, then presumably it can make dopamine as well. I mean, yeah. as opposed to an implantable sort of slow leak dopamine that you come up with some slick way to refill. But what do you think is more likely, kind of the, the more pure engineering approach or the more biologic transplant approach where you just try to tune it? The near term, of course, is taking some cell cultures that yep. are not like purely synthesized. That still, I think, is a huge goal. So I am excited about that. And that's some of the biological engineering that I was talking about, like biotechnology or the future of technology, we really be coming back to the biology, moving a little bit away from the uh, electrical engineering. What do you think the world looks like in 2040? 